this is the reality of what I've looked like for the past two weeks. Hello and welcome back to a brand new weekly vlog, I think this is gonna be, we'll see. You would think that in this time of, you know, having nothing to do, I would have done more YouTube videos, but honestly, because there's been a lack of motivation in general and with everything going on and how it's affected my mental health and everything else, it's made me lose my motivation for this, even though I love doing it. It's just whenever I've tried to film a video, it's not gone right and I just don't love it. So I'm trying to get back into things. I have a few video ideas. I did film one a couple of weeks ago. I think it was literally like two weeks ago today and I just didn't like how it turned out because I just it just didn't turn out how I wanted it to. It, it could have been better. So I'm going to try and refilm that at some point. But today is Monday, what's the day? The 6th of April and I mean, I don't know what this weekly vlog is going to entail. I might show you a few things I've been getting up to during this time. I have been filming a few random clips here and there over the past couple of weeks because I was going to do a video just talking about what I'm doing to keep myself busy during quarantine but I thought this vlog could be a mixture of that as well so maybe I'll include some clips of that now but obviously there's other things I've been doing that I haven't filmed and maybe I'll show you this week I've even done some baking I know I didn't film that but yeah I baked some cakes I'm just trying to keep myself busy I've been watching a lot of Hannah Montana a lot of Disney Plus Disney Plus has been one of the things that has gotten me through this partly so very thankful for that but yeah it's quite late in the morning I've had a really lazy morning I just wanted to catch up on Saturday's episode of RuPaul's Drag Race catch up on some YouTube because I've actually not what I thought I was going to do is just sit in my room and watch my TV all day every day like YouTube and Disney Plus and Netflix but I've actually not done that I've actually been when it's been nice weather I've been sitting out in the garden and reading my book or I've been playing on the Wii a lot and I've missed doing that I've been finding I feel like I saw something on Facebook a while ago that said basically <laughs> this quarantine is making everyone act like their younger selves because they don't really know how to act in this time of not having anything to do which is very true because I've been watching Hannah Montana I've been coloring I've been playing on the Wii and on my DS I've definitely I can definitely agree with that statement let me know down below how you guys getting on it's been a roller coaster of emotions over the past couple of weeks but hopefully things will start to get better soon. I honestly don't know. Um, things are very up in the air at the moment, of course. I miss work so much. I really wanna get back, but who knows when that's gonna be. If people would just abide by the rules and stay at home and stop going out in groups just because it's nice weather. Like if you stop doing that now, you'll be able to go out during the actual summer where it's gonna be even nicer, hopefully. And we'll actually get a summer. Like, please just, Please just follow the rules please just do it just do it i know it sucks not getting to go outside but if we do it now it'll be over quicker and then we can get back to normal quicker but i don't want to talk about that too much i don't want to bombard you with it because what i've been trying to do is find distractions from it so i kind of want my channel to be a distraction from it obviously when i'm vlogging and stuff and talking about my life it's a big thing that's happening right now it's not something that i can kind of ignore but i want to try and make my channel a distraction for people so that's what this is going to be but i'm just going to vlog what i get up to this week might not be very interesting but at least you'll get a little insight as to what i've been getting up to don't really know what the plan is for today don't really have any plans for any days to be honest i've been doing a lot of live dance classes as well i haven't done enough yoga i've only done a little bit and it was really good the day i did it i got up early went out because it was a nice sunny day and did some yoga in the garden i need to do some more of that but i've been slacking a little bit more with that it's just being so overwhelmed like not knowing what to do with my time and almost thinking of all the things i could be doing makes me a bit overwhelmed so i don't do anything but i haven't been completely lazy like if you want to just sit and do nothing that's absolutely fine but i have been trying to do a mixture of things to keep my mind occupied and keep switching things up so it doesn't get too repetitive and i don't have time to think about what's going on too much there's a little update for you i'm back for now don't know how long this will last i'm gonna try and upload more i know i say that all the time but i really am trying it's just very hard when my brain will not let me find the motivation to do things but we're trying <laughs>
it's a little bit later on my hair looks a little bit crazy because it's dried naturally so since i last spoke to you i ended up going down to the shop um to get some food and some bits for us and also for my nan and drop them off outside her door because I couldn't actually give them to her or give her a hug or anything which is one of the hardest things about this is not being able to you know see other family members properly or friends and like give them a hug especially like obviously my nan and granddad it's just it's really sad I was originally in this earlier but then when I had to go to the shop I decided to put some other clothes on because I knew that when I got back I'd have to take them all off, put them straight in the wash and have a shower so and I wanted to wear these for the rest of the day so I got out of these to get back into them after my shower. I also had some lunch, I tidied the kitchen, I tidied my room. I say tidy, yeah I did tidy. I vacuumed and I polished and I put some things away and now I'm kind of just watching some YouTube. I was gonna maybe film a video or two today but I just haven't got around to it and I mean I've got plenty of time to so I may potentially do that tomorrow and actually put some makeup on as well because I have not worn makeup for like two weeks probably now. I was gonna start experimenting with my makeup more whilst we were trapped inside and I had more time and like practicing but I haven't actually done that as much as I thought I would. So it's currently quarter past ten and as you would have just seen I was on FaceTime to Luke for a little while, probably probably about an hour, just over an hour, um, just having a chat and a catch up and that was really nice. There's not really a lot to update you on which I know is probably going to be a running theme but that's just how it is. Tomorrow I plan on having a filming day and making TikToks which I know is ridiculous but it's something that I really enjoy and it helps keep my mind busy so i'm gonna try and do some of that tomorrow which then also kind of means it'd be hard to film stuff for this vlog if i'm filming i will try my best and maybe i'll film some behind the scenes of my tiktoks um there's a couple of trends that i want to try out because it looks fun there's one where you recreate i say recreate you create what your mugshot would look like which is so random but it looks so fun and i know that that literally sounds insane but let me know if you'd like me to do a video on this channel about tiktok like maybe reacting to some tiktoks or exposing my liked videos or something so you can see what kind of tiktoks i find funny or that i like or just showing you some of my favorites let me know if you'd like to see that don't know if that's interesting or not although i know that people from tiktok like to copyright videos that have got certain songs in or certain tiktoks people like to copyright it so i don't know if it'd work but we could give it a try so i have been copyrighted for putting a tiktok in a video once so i could give it a go so let me know if that is something you'd like to see if you're interested yeah for the rest of the evening i'm just gonna watch some more youtube i've watched a lot of youtube today this is the most youtube i've watched in a day since we've been on lockdown which is quite surprising because normally it's all i do but i've been trying not to watch to i think i said this earlier i've been trying not to just sit in my room and watch my tv all day every day and i've been doing really well at it to be fair but today was one of the days where i've just watched a bit more youtube which nothing wrong with that <laughs> but yeah i'm just gonna watch some more for the rest of the evening and also while i was on facetime to luke we were actually talking about and discussing the whole Disney trip which I say you're probably wondering what we're doing about it you're probably not wondering that you're probably not even thinking about that but if it crosses your mind you might think oh I wonder if that's still happening do they have any updates and I was going to do a whole video update on it but it's still very up in the air anyway and I was going to just wait until I knew the full details which I probably will I don't know if it'll be its own video but I'll definitely update you but obviously we if you didn't know me and luke are meant to be going to disney world in july and obviously with everything that's going on at the moment it's all very up in the air and disney is still closed at the moment and i think it's going to be closed for at least another month or two and at the moment our holiday is completely unaffected in terms of flights and everything it says online that our holiday is not affected and stuff um it's kind of just one of those things we have to just wait it out we're going to pay off we only have a little bit more left to pay off so we're going to pay off the rest of it and then if we can't go for whatever reason whether it's like 
the park decides to be stay closed longer or flights get cancelled or whatever or we're not allowed to leave the country then we can just rearrange the day and keep our whole dining plan we don't have to lose anything we just have to move to a different time even the thought of that was stressing me out and i really was really sad about it and of course i want to go in july i want it to go as planned because you know it's coming up sooner and i don't know i just wanted it to go as planned and but now i've kind of come to terms with the fact that we may have to move it but it's not we're still gonna get to go that's all i've got to think about no matter when it is i'm still going <laughs> trust me i am making this holiday happen i've waited so long for this everything we have planned is just making it the dream holiday and i'm not letting anything stand in the way and i know that there's worse things going on right now and i know it seems silly and insensitive to be worrying about a holiday but of course you're gonna get upset when plans get ruined there's a lot of plans that have been ruined from this for many of people for many of people for many people but of course i know that there's people that are worse off and stuff but obviously it's all relative and i just wanted to update you and let you know that at the moment it's still happening in july i'm keeping the countdown going but <sighs> my mind's constantly changing if you don't think it's going to be open by then like if you have negative thoughts on it please don't comment I all i'm seeing online is are people that have got like from like the orlando pages and the disney pages it's people saying like oh there's no chance that this will happen they're not going to open and like people have been really negative and no one actually knows what's going to happen literally no one in the world knows what's going to happen so there's no point being negative and speculating things and trying to put other people down and whatever so yeah even if you don't think it's going to happen just keep that in your head because i am very much aware of that but seeing all these things online is not helping me so i actually had to leave one of the facebook groups i was part of um because there was so much negativity on there and it was stressing me out but yeah basically i've come to terms with the fact that whatever happens i'm going to disney whenever it may be might be in july might be all good might be going another time but it will be happening um but yeah i thought i'd keep you updated with that and i'm still getting all excited for it i'm still putting it out into the universe you know i'm trying to bring into existence that everything's going to calm down soon and things will go back to normal and i'm trying to stay really positive it's not been easy it's been i've been all over the place the past few weeks but i know that everyone is kind of feeling like that yeah we had a chat about that and we were discussing you know action plan for if something goes wrong but at the moment we don't need to worry too much it's just obviously as it gets closer and just seeing how things develop but at the moment there's not really anything we can do um we're kind of obviously in our heads prepared for you know if something does happen like if it does go wrong if we do have to change it we're very prepared for that so yeah and i'm doing a lot better than i was because i just know that although it's a pain to have to move it and having to wait longer i'm gonna make sure i go soon i saved up the money and i've worked towards paying it all off so if i have to like even if god forbid we had to completely cancel and get all our money back then i would just save and book another trip later down the line so i'm not worried it's gonna happen a lot of people have had to cancel trips my friend chloe has had to change hers to next year and obviously that's really gutting she was meant to be going in may and it was getting very close and she's probably getting really excited so I feel so sorry for the people that have had to cancel my friend from work's had to cancel hers who's meant to be there now it's just rubbish and i know again there's worse things going on but in terms of like you know the smaller things like going on holiday and whatever it is such a shame that all these things are getting cancelled i'm not trying to be really ignorant and selfish of course it is all relative and it's okay to feel upset about things not going as planned but anyway just thought I'd give you a little update I've been talking for 10 minutes don't know how that happened it's me of course that happened um but anyway I'm gonna go back to watching some youtube and go to bed and i will speak to you again tomorrow Yo, so it's actually now tuesday and as you can see i've actually put makeup on first time in a couple of weeks and i've done my hair who is she i used the zoella brunch date palette yeah zoella brunch date palette from colourpop and 
I just flipping love this eyeshadow palette. I've just filmed a video, which is a Disney Q&A. Um, I don't know if I'll edit and upload it today. If not, I might do it tomorrow. It's a long one because there's a lot of questions. I took all the questions, or I took most of the questions from Gary C's recent video because they were really cool questions and I just wanted to answer them myself. Um, but right now I'm going to have some lunch. Probably make some more TikToks because... Apparently I like making TikToks. I need to finish off this Disney quiz as well because I'm hosting this quiz on Thursday and it's Tuesday and I am nowhere near finished. So I need to crack on with some more of that as well. Hi, so currently editing this video and I realised that I never even explained this Disney quiz. I thought I'd already explained it at the start of the vlog. We did a FaceTime the week before with a few family and family friends where my sister hosted a Gavin and Stacey quiz and then we wanted to make it a weekly thing where each person would host a quiz so we decided that I was going to host a Disney quiz for the next one and I was working on, you know, the questions and everything for it during this weekly vlog. That is what I'm on about here because I really didn't explain it so it just doesn't make sense so there you go, I'll talk a bit more about it later on in the video but that's basically what it's about if you're confused. I hosted a Disney quiz. Carry on with the vlog. Well, I'm really excited to do that it's going to be a lot of fun. The people who are going to be joining in aren't massive Disney fans so I've tried to make more of the questions easier so like if it was me doing a Disney Q&A for a fellow Disney fanatic like Chloe for example, my friend Chloe, I would have to make the questions a lot harder and like some of them are tricky but I've been like very aware that not everyone is, is, a, is as obsessed with Disney as I am and knows all the silly details so I've got to keep that in mind but I can't remember if I told you all the different rounds I'm doing, I probably did, but I'll probably show you parts of it when I've finished it and then I'll let you know how people get on with it and how people react to it on Thursday. But I'm really excited to finish that. I'm just proud of myself that I've actually filmed a video because I've been wanting to for so long, I've missed it. And I know I filmed one a couple of weeks ago, but I don't like how it turned out, so I'm gonna have to redo that. And a lot of the videos I've filmed in the past, like, some of the last few videos I filmed in the past, like, I just, they've just not turned out well. But this one, I'm so passionate about it and it's just really laid back. It's just a bit of fun, so it's definitely one that I can upload. I, ca I cannot do this dance. I cannot do it. I'm trying to learn a dance for TikTok and I can't do it. I'm savage, classy, bougie, ratchet. Uh-uh. Mm hmm. <laughs> Throw it back, I can't throw it back, so that doesn't help. <laughs> Is this right? No. You have to like ripple it. Is that right? No. Acting stupid. What's happening? What's happening? I'm a savage. I'm just not a good dancer. I can't dance like the TikTok people. I've given myself a headache and I'm sweating from trying to learn this dance. It's not even that hard. I can't do this dance. I actually can't do it. got it right all the way through but it's still not good so I need to do it again. Yeah. Oh, gross. Mm. No. 
They're cute. They're not really. They're not really. Which really one new. am I allowed? So the only one. The only one. Can I have a big one? Yep. This one? Yep. Biggest one. Yep. Oops. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, it's now Wednesday and my fringe has grown so quickly this time round. This is the quickest it's ever grown since having it cut and that's not really ideal. It's like the worst time in, like the time where I can't go and get it trimmed is the time it decides to grow the quickest. It's been three weeks now which usually it obviously would grow in that time to need to get it trimmed or whatever but it usually lasts a bit longer than that but it's already getting a bit annoyingly long although it doesn't necessarily look it it just kind of feels it i don't know anyway it's wednesday and so far what time is it it's quarter to one and so far today i've got up and sat in the garden i've played animal crossing on my ds because i don't have it on a switch because I don't have a switch and I can't afford a switch. I've also been playing it on my Wii over the past couple of days as well. I'm getting addicted to it again. I really wish I had a switch. I was going to ask for one for my birthday. My mom said maybe like her and like some of my other family or whoever could like put some money together to get me one. But also I need to be sensible and ask for money for Disney World as well. So I don't know. Maybe I'll maybe I'll do it. We'll see. I had some breakfast. I have changed my bedding. And I also got a very exciting delivery, which is over here, from my amazing friend Vilma, who you may have heard me mention before. She has sent me this all the way from Finland, and it's the cutest thing ever. I was telling her that I was kind of not feeling great with everything that's going on, and I was really struggling, and she was like, send me your address, I'm going to send you something. So she sent me a little something. On the back, it's so cute. There's this Snow White sticker. I'm going to try and focus it. And it says, I'm wishing, it's like in the tune of the song from Snow White, I'm wishing. And it says, I'm wishing for Esme's trip to happen in July, in July, you know, like the song. Um, it's so cute. And then I'm not going to read the actual letter out because obviously it's like quite a personal thing. But I'll just kind of show you how nicely it's decorated. And on the bottom she's put Rapunzel. And then on the second page there's more and then here she's put Alice if it'll focus and a little quote and she knows that Rapunzel and Alice are two of my absolute favourites and she's written me the loveliest message in the world she sent me a little postcard and on the back it says I believe in you like the known quote says life is tough but so are you I love you so much to Esme a strong passionate and beautiful dreamer from Vilma a friend who will support said dreamer till the end of time and on the front it obviously says sending you love and strength which oh my god cutest thing ever and it gets even better because she sent me a load of little goodies as well so she sent me these like disney themed stamps so there's this one from oliver and company here which is a film i don't actually know if i've ever watched i haven't watched it for a very long time if i have i think i, I think i watched it when i was little but i just haven't watched it in so long so i need to watch that again i'm assuming it's on disney plus if it is that'll be the next one i watch and then also this one of pluto which is so cute i, I don't know where she's got it i think they're stickers as well so oh, i don't know if it'll focus because it's so little there you go you can kind of see it please excuse my ugly chipped nails but how adorable is that then she sent me this sticker too that says storms don't last forever and then on the back she's written a little message too and it says this is a sticker which i thought you could put somewhere as a reminder to help you breathe and calm down 
then she sent me these stickers which are little mickey mouse heads and they've got different numbers on go 15 all the way down to one and she said on the back some countdown stickers for your trip use them in a calendar or a journal or wherever so that's really cute so so thoughtful and then of course i'm obsessed with these she sent me some peter pan stickers and then finally she sent me this one which says don't forget and it's got a picture of the fairy godmother on it and this is also a sticker too it says you are magic even the toughest times won't be able to kill your spirit they might bring you down but your spirit the flame flickers still you are strong you are not alone never was never will be i believe in the timing of your life so so should you it's okay to take it slow it's good i'll be here for you if you need a friend i love you i'm sorry but Vilma is the cutest person in the whole world i absolutely love her and that has honestly just made my year because obviously this year is not so great for me or anyone not just for me obviously for everyone it's an awful year um but that's just made my whole year so Vilma thank you so so much you are just one of a kind the most amazing person ever I am sending you something back by the time you're watching this if it hasn't arrived just know it's on its way I'm gonna send you something else back I don't know if I could ever match up to how amazing the stuff you sent me is but I will try my best but thank you so much and if you're not subscribed to Vilma I will leave her link down below because she makes some amazing videos and she has a better upload schedule than I do and better content so go and subscribe to her but now I'm probably gonna have some lunch soon I need to finish that Disney quiz that I mentioned because I'm hosting that tomorrow and I am nowhere near finished so I need to hurry up and do that so that's probably what I'm going to do next even though I want to just play more Animal Crossing but I'm going to get the quiz done first and then I can do that so that is the plan I was going to do some more makeup today but I just haven't got around to it yet and I don't know if I could be bothered <laughs> hi guys please excuse the lighting it's the evening time and they just fell over the basket on my floor and the lighting in my room is always awful what the hell is going on with my fringe why does it look wet honestly <laughs> i don't even know anymore yeah it's a lot later i can't remember what i last vlogged i don't know if i vlogged after i finished writing up the quiz that i'm doing tomorrow if i haven't that means i haven't vlogged for a very long time but i finished writing the quiz so that's all done all the questions are ready i'm very excited about that tomorrow i've been in the garden we got the table tennis table out i've been playing animal crossing on the wii because i have it on the wii and the ds and i've gotten addicted to it on both now because i'm jealous of everyone playing it on the nintendo switch so i thought i'd give it a go on my wii and my ds again after a while and i've gotten addicted to it again i knew that was gonna happen i've had some tea as well what time is it now i think it's about eight o'clock it's 20 past eight and I think we're just going to sit outside and my dad's going to light a fire so that should be nice and cosy the weather has been amazing today obviously if you live in the uk you already know that but um it's been really nice today um obviously it's gone a bit cooler now because the sun's gone in but my dad's going to light a fire and we're going to sit outside and just chill out so yeah i know i haven't vlogged a lot but <laughs> i mean I don't want to over vlog things and make it too boring but that is what's happening now i'm in good spirits today which is good over the past couple of days i've been in much better spirits than most of the lockdown but i'm doing okay i'm, I'm doing well so yeah we're getting through it i know people are in worse situations but yeah obviously it's a lot being locked inside for a long time but feeling a lot better than i have been so that's good so as you can see we oh my god honestly what is going on with my hair i know i keep saying it but I just don't know what's happening it's a really weird shape as you can see sat out in the garden i look so bright red i don't really know why i must be a bit warm um we sat outside for a bit which was really nice and i have just sat and added a disney a disney round a picture round to the disney quiz i'm doing tomorrow because i was talking about it and i said i wanted to do it but i didn't know if i was adding too many things but 
basically the pub quiz that we always go to on a Thursday, obviously we're not at the moment, but the one we normally go to on a Thursday, they hand out a picture round just before they start the quiz so you can like have a go at that while um, you wait for the quiz to start. So I thought I would do that, I would like send it to everyone when we start the group call, just be like I've just sent you all the picture round if you want to start having a um, writing down your answers for that and obviously you can go back to it throughout the quiz and make some changes or if you realise what a certain character is halfway through the quiz randomly you can go back to it. I just thought it'd be fun and I did I did a layout that was kind of similar. I've done the first five just normal photos unedited then four of them are slightly warped or blurred. Still really obvious what characters they are. I know it, that's easy to say coming from a Disney fan, but I'd say they're still pretty easy and I'm pretty sure everyone will be able to tell who they are. It might just be that they forget the names maybe, but it's quite obvious what they are. And then the last one is similar to what we get at the pub quiz. They normally, it's normally an ob, instead of a person, normally what the other pictures are, the last one is usually an object of some kind and it's like zoomed in. So you can't, so it's not, so you have to try and guess what the what it is when it's really zoomed in. So it could be like an iron, but it's really zoomed in so you can't necessarily tell straight away what it is. Um, so I've done that and it's a Disney prop, just zoomed in. But again, you can still kind of tell. It's quite obvious, especially if you like Disney. But I thought it might be quite fun to insert it now. And I'll put it on screen so you can see it now. And you guys put in the comments your guesses. So don't cheat. I don't know how you'd exactly cheat with a picture around because you can't. I don't know, but without cheating in any way, if that's possible, um, comment one to ten what you think they all are and see if you've got them right. But if you watch me and you're a big Disney fan, you'll definitely get all ten. Like people like Chloe and Vilma, you will look at this and realise it's very easy. I'm really excited to host it. It's going to be something a bit different. I don't, I don't think I've ever hosted a quiz before, so I'm very much looking forward to it. And I will obviously let you know how it goes. It's gonna be lots of fun. I've got a headache. <laughs> I think I've been staring at too many screens all day, whether it's been my laptop screen, my phone screen, my DS screen, or the TV screen when I was playing Animal Crossing. So I'm gonna get ready for bed and stare at another screen because I'm gonna have YouTube on in the background. Um, I suppose I won't properly be watching it, but yeah, I'm gonna do that and get ready for bed and go to sleep fairly soon. It's like 20 to 11, so. It's not that late obviously but I probably will go to sleep soon. I've actually had quite a nice day. I know obviously things are getting very repetitive at the moment but it's actually been quite a good day. Like I've really enjoyed it and I'm really, I'm honestly so excited to host this quiz. I know it sounds so lame but I'm just really excited. It's going to be fun. And also another thing, um, I don't know if I said last week my sister hosted a quiz and it was Gavin and Stacey. Did I say that? But basically she got everyone to send their team names over individually as well and she chose her favourite and they got bonus points so I'm going to get people to send me their quiz names obviously it needs to be Disney themed and I'm going to pick my favourite yeah today's been a good day it helps that I got that little package from Vilma sent over I say package, little delivery of the letter and all the little goodies inside this week I also need to write a letter to send her back this is going to be the last part of today's segment of the vlog so I will see you tomorrow for more on in isolation. <laughs> Good morning, it's now Thursday. As you can see, don't know if you can tell, but I've washed my hair. Um, I had a bath this morning and washed my hair. I've literally just got out and got changed because I needed to wash my hair anyway. And also I felt like I needed a bath because I pulled the muscles in the backs of my legs from playing on the Wii Fit the other day. I think it was the jogging that did it. I don't really know how that happened. I, I don't know, but yeah, I had a bath. While I was in the bath, I watched um, Brogan's video where her and Benji, her boyfriend, had a Disney day at home and it's definitely my favourite vlog she's ever uploaded. It was so funny and it was just so, like, uplifting. Like, it was just a nice, fun video and I really enjoyed watching it. But yeah, definitely go and watch that if you haven't. I'll try and remember to link it below because it's so good. Um, I also watched Molly's vlog the other day, as in Beauty Spectrum, where she's meant to be in Dubai at the moment, so she recreated a holiday at home, and it was just so good. Like that, I'm I'm loving those kind of videos at the moment. They're just so funny. This is what I'm wearing to host the Disney quiz tonight. I thought I'd find my brightest, most colourful Disney T-shirt. 
I think this one does the trick. And then I am going to wear my Peter Pan ears that I bought from Hannah Marie Magic for my upcoming Disney World trip. Me and Dad have been making this cake together. Mum didn't help. Jake's mum made it. Hold on, me love. This is your lunch. You can't have any cake then. You've not had your lunch. I don't know how to cut it. With a knife. <laughs> this is where it all falls to pieces. Oh, it's like the bacon. Is it? Oh. nearly 11 o'clock at night and I haven't really vlogged anything today <laughs> it's kind of just been the same as every day me and my dad played table tennis we also played Scrabble I played Animal Crossing on my DS for a bit we watched a film tonight nothing majorly exciting to tell you or update you on but I am just watching a little bit of Disney Plus before I go to bed before I go to sleep um, I'm quite tired at a point where I really don't know when this is gonna be over. I keep trying to stay positive so I'm gonna keep trying my best to um, but I'm gonna go to sleep very shortly so I will catch up with you again tomorrow again not much happening I'm facetiming a few friends in the day and then also another group of friends in the evening. Hey guys while well, the lighting's really weird it's from a weird time of day it's like half six so the sun's kind of setting it's kind of like golden hour kind of maybe I don't know um but basically I haven't really vlogged anything today I facetimed Franny and Luke pretty much all I've done all day <laughs> so like I said I think I don't even know if I've mentioned this but this facetime call we're doing this evening with some like close family friends our theme for this week is to dress up as our favorite pop star we're not doing a quiz or anything we're just dressing up as our favorite pop star and my favorite pop star is Hannah Montana so I want to dress up as her. This would have been so much easier about 10 years ago when I had my wardrobe was completely filled with Hannah Montana style outfits but I'm trying to make things work. I've looked through my wardrobe, I'm looking at pictures of Hannah Montana and some of her outfits. Um, I found a couple of things, I say a couple of things, I found like one thing that might work but I'm gonna raid my mom's wardrobe, she has given me permission. Um, I found this skirt that I've had for so long, I bought it in a sale in River Island for £5 and I've worn it like twice but I love it so much that I can't bear to part with it even though it's very out there so I haven't really found a reason to wear it, it's this one. You can't really see it that well because of the lighting and the lines from my window reflecting on it but I'll show you when the outfit's on if I end up wearing this anyway but this is very Hannah Montana-esque, I feel like. It's very bold, but I'm gonna have a look in my mom's wardrobe and see if she's got anything, like other clothes I could maybe wear or accessories or something. Thing is, if my hair was a bit longer, I wouldn't even need to wear a wig, but we don't have many wig options. The closest thing I have is this, this long blonde ratty wig. 10 years ago, when I was a child, I had my own Hannah Montana wig. Obviously I don't have that anymore. 
that would have been perfect. So let's raid my mum's wardrobe. I realise I'm going too over the top with this because it's only a FaceTime call and they won't be able to see my full outfit the whole time anyway but the opportunity for me to dress up as a character, especially my favourite, I'm going to make the most of it. So let's do this. Oh, the cat's there. I know what shoes I'm wearing. I've got to wear my yellow docks because the reason I own yellow docks is because of Hannah Montana because I wanted to have shoes the same as hers. So yeah, that's me exposing myself. Hello everyone and happy Easter. Today is Easter Sunday. I know <laughs> I probably look quite intense right now got a green lipstick on I'm wearing a green dress a bit glam for you know being stuck in isolation but basically it's my grandma and granddad's wedding anniversary soon and it's their emerald anniversary so they wanted us to take some photos in green outfits or like with a green background as long as it had like green in it um because they want to put together this little photo wall um so we did that today so I'm all in green and mum and dad have just gone for a walk. I did not join them because I looked like this and I thought it was a bit intense for a walk and if we do see any people, even though it'll be from a distance, might get some strange looks. But I don't know if you can tell or hear from the music in the background. I'm playing Animal Crossing <laughs> and I'm about to have some more of my Easter egg because it's Easter. Um, my mom, no, my dad went out to the shop the other day to get some stuff and he got us an easter egg each so obviously it's a weird time like normally a couple of my other family members would have given me an easter egg but my dad still managed to get me one and i'm happy with just one the fact that i've even got one is amazing so yeah i'm gonna tuck into some more of that i had a little bit of it earlier after lunch but i'm gonna tuck into some more of it now it's quarter four the day has gone so fast um I had a shower and washed my hair this morning as well, so I'm feeling nice and fresh, actually got makeup on, a full dress and full glam to play Animal Crossing and eat an Easter egg. This is what quarantine has done to us. <laughs> but I hope you guys had a lovely Easter. I really need a Switch, so bad. I've gotten myself so addicted to this game again. It's so good on the Wii though. Um, it's Animal Crossing Let's Go to the City on the Wii. I don't know if there's other Animal Crossing games you can get for the Wii. I think it's just this one. I don't know, I'll find out um because if there are other ones i'll probably buy them and i've obviously got animal crossing wild world for my ds and again i think there's other ones there's definitely other ones for the ds i know they did one for the 3ds but i don't know about other ones but i'll probably buy all the other ones i'm just addicted again because <laughs> it's easter i've been digging for easter eggs and been getting loads of easter treats for my house it's so exciting all my furniture matches although i'm running out of room for all the stuff but i'm nearly finished paying off mortgage so hopefully my house will get a bit bigger soon we'll see but i'm gonna get back to playing animal crossing because i'm having a great time <laughs> so it's now later on in the evening i know i haven't vlogged much over the past few days it's kind of just been the same as what you've seen throughout this week it's been kind of similar stuff that's basic i'm basically doing the same thing every day or similar stuff every day but yeah i have taken off my makeup i got them into my pajamas and now i'm going to play a little bit of animal crossing on my ds before i go to sleep so yeah this is the end of the weekly vlog i hope you enjoyed it i can't believe i actually kept it up i know i didn't vlog loads but i kind of gave you an insight as to what my life has been like in lockdown but i hope you enjoyed it if you did give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already because i've got more content coming soon and i'll see you in the next one bye